The Art of Self-Healing. My name is Dino Delato, and I was at the forefront of the human potential movement starting back in 1972. The methods and the techniques that I'm going to share with you today have been taught to thousands, literally hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. People now who have healed themselves of cancer. Some of you may be familiar with Dr. Carl Symington and his methods of using creative visualization along with cancer therapy. But more important than that, I'm going to tell you some stories about people who have healed themselves of arthritis. People who have healed themselves of their emotional difficulties, such as depression, and so much more. Also, at the end of this video, I am going to give you a guided meditation that has been used now by people all over the world. And absolutely free, you'll be able to download it yourself. All right, let's get on with it. Let's understand the healing process. In other words, where does healing come from? Does it come from taking a pill? Does it come from taking a pharmaceutical? In actuality, healing comes from within you. You've all heard of the placebo effect. Somebody takes a sugar pill, and they think that it's some new drug that helps to remove migraines. And sure enough, their migraine disappears. Or their arthritic problem begins to slow down, and the pain goes away. And so on it goes. Oftentimes, we hear the pharmaceutical companies talking about getting rid of the placebo effect. Why would you want to get rid of the placebo effect? Because the placebo effect tells us something incredibly important, that healing takes place from within you. You are the healer. You are the healer. You are the healer. I cannot overstate that. Drugs, pharmaceuticals, whatever the case may be, sometimes help to push a problem aside or change a chemical situation within the body so that the body can heal itself. Sometimes we as human beings, because of stresses that we're going through, things that are taking place in our life, maybe with our job or our home situation, those stresses, those emotions oftentimes get in the way of the healing process. But when we understand that, in other words, when we begin to treat ourselves as a whole human being rather than as a piece of machinery, we begin to take into respect what we call holistic healing. How are you feeling? Do you hate your job? Do you love your home life? Do you feel good about what you're doing at this point in time? How are you doing? Is your medical practitioner asking you those kinds of questions? If not, you might want to switch and get another one. Treating you like a machine, in other words, a quick pill fix, may sometimes remove the problem temporarily, but oftentimes the problem comes back in another way or it comes back even worse than what it was to begin with. Because you're not treating yourself as a whole human being. Your emotions, your ideas, your feelings, your beliefs, all play a part in the healing process. But you have something very important. You as an individual can participate in the healing. When you as an individual begin to participate in the healing process, it's kind of like, you know, playing a game of basketball or rugby or football or playing chess or whatever. You know, if the person, who, the, the people who you're playing with are not participating, the game does not go well, does it? But if you and all the people that you're playing with are participating, are involved, are enthusiastic, are excited. Wow, it goes pretty good, doesn't it? When you, as an individual, participate in your own healing, it sends a message to your whole mind-body system 
that you are interested in bringing about a positive response. This is very important. Creative visualization. I had a student of mine back in around 1973, 1974, her name is Shakti Gwain. And she wrote a book called Creative Visualization, which came out of the things that we were teaching at that time. In fact, she made creative visualization famous. Her book is sold in the multi-millions all over the world. Visualization is a major way to help you bring about a healing process. So I'm going to go into this now so that you can begin to understand it. Because creative visualization can also be used in a whole number of ways to help you heal your financial situation, to help you heal your home situation, and so on. So there's many things that this can be used for. Visualization works extremely well and even better if you add or bring music into the process. Think about it in this way. You've gone to a movie. Maybe it's a horror movie. Or maybe a very dramatic movie. Or maybe a very romantic movie. Or maybe it's a shoot 'em up an action-packed film. You notice what they do? Is they use music. That music plays to your what? Emotions. Because by playing to your emotions with the type of music that they use, it helps you what? Feel what is taking place on the big screen. And it's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, it's dramatic, and it's cheerful, and it's angry, and it's funny. I mean, it's all of that. So when you use creative visualization, and you mix it with music, and music, when I say music, music that makes you feel uplifted. Music that makes you feel good. Let me give you an actual story, and it's my own in this sense. Not too long ago, when I say not too long ago, just a few years ago, I got arthritis in my left foot. So bad that I was limping, sometimes so bad that I was having to use crutches. The foot was swollen, it was very painful, and I even grew a bunion just right, you know, right near where the, the big toe is. Now, the first thing that I ask myself is, is why am I getting arthritis in my foot? Why am I doing this to myself? Now, when I say why am I doing this to myself, this has got nothing to do with guilt. In other words, I was wanting to take responsibility for what was taking place in my body. Responsibility means the ability to what? Respond. It has nothing to do with guilt. One of the things that I realized is that at that point in my life, I was trying to get out, I was trying to move out, I was trying to do some other things, but I was feeling a lot of fear. I grew up in a very brutalized childhood. Not only brutalized physically, but also oftentimes brutalized emotionally. Probably more emotional in some way. It caused me to oftentimes feel very afraid to move out into the world. Now, what do we move out into the world with? Our feet, for one. Our hands would be another, so on. But this one was affecting my feet. And realizing that, I begin then to use creative visualization along with some very powerful Music, the type of music that I use, by the way, some people say they use Beethoven, or they use one which is, uh, I'll remember the name of it in just a moment, here uh, by some of the classical people, because classical music oftentimes moves us in a very deep and emotional way. But I was using some music from the group Heart, and that music caused me to make me feel like I wanted to what? Like I wanted to dance. So while I was in that meditative state, twice a day, about 15 to 20 minutes per time, I imagined myself dancing and moving, and my feet moving easily and effortlessly, without difficulty, without problem. In fact, even though I was limping, 
sometimes quite badly during the day, in my imagination while I was walking, I imagined myself walking perfectly. You see, what I had done was I was participating in my healing process, not just in my imagination, that was only a part of it, but also what? In the actual doing of it. So if you as an individual will take these ideas and methods and techniques that I'm going to give you ways that you can learn them in a much deeper way toward the end of this video, you can become a, literally a participant in your own self-healing. I call it the mirror technique. I also begin to get arthritis in my shoulders, more in the left shoulder than the, the right shoulder. The left side of the body often has to do with that feeling side, the emotional side. And yes, that's where it was affecting me. So I would sometimes stand in front of the mirror and I would imagine my shoulders. I say imagine, but I'd see it in the mirror. I imagined seeing it in the mirror. I could see my shoulders rotating way up. I wasn't actually doing it physically. I was doing it in my imagination because physically this left shoulder was very painful and I could hardly move it at all. Then after I imagined it several times, then I would actually begin to do it. The left shoulder not quite as much as I would like, but each day as I did that, it began to move a little more and a little more and a little more. And also a couple of times per day, as I described before, I would go into that meditative state, sometimes called an alpha level, and I would imagine it, I would feel it, I would sense it. And yes, both with the foot and with the shoulder, I completely healed the arthritic problem. You see what people do because of their beliefs, they say, oh, when you get old, you get those kind of things, those things happen to you. Well, people say, well, you know, I've got arthritis and it's just something I have to live with. Only if you want to. You have the power of healing within you. It is a natural process of yours as a human being when you put it into work. In other words, when you literally participate in that process. To imagine is to create. Think about Einstein's uh, statement when he said that imagination was more important than knowledge. Imagination is more important in healing than an actual knowledge of all the technical stuff, all the, the data, and all the things that we met. To imagine ourselves healed is to begin to bring it about. To imagine ourselves more abundant in our lives is to bring it, is to begin to bring it about. To imagine that we are in a loving relationship, to imagine that we are healing our financial life is to begin to bring it about. Now why is that? Actually, it's quite simple. It's got more to do than just positive thinking, by the way. Because when we imagine it, and also bring into effect what I talked about a little bit earlier, that feeling process, we then begin to spot it out here. In other words, we spot that business that could make us more money. We spot that relationship, that man or that woman that we could actually be in tune with. Sometimes we call it spontaneity or an intuitive response. Yes, it begins to do that. It begins to attract to us in our life exactly what we are imagining. You see, you, are, you and I are much more than just a bag of emotions and mental ideas. We are also energetic. We are also an energy being. That energy attracts to us magnetically those things that we wish and desire, both negative negative and positive. Now that does not mean that you should begin to become afraid of your images and your ideas and so on. Not at all. You have natural protections within your mind-body system. But those images, those feelings, those things that we continually dwell on 
are, yes, what we begin to bring about. We actually attract them to ourselves in that sense. I mentioned a little bit earlier that you could get a free guided meditation. It is an MP3 file, which is one of the most used guided meditations in the world called Creative Visualization. If you will go to the website, one, creativevisualization.com, you can download this meditation completely free. Also, if you will go to my website, which is called coolzenhealing.com, and take a look at the book, Discover the Magic in You, it, there, is a, there is a video there that you can listen to which will give you in detail many of the things that this book covers. This book covers over 38 years of my experience in working with people all over the world who have healed themselves of cancer, arthritis, which we've already talked about, muscular dystrophy, also have healed themselves of their financial and physical problems, have healed themselves of their romance, we might say, or relationship difficulties. You have the power within you as an individual to bring this about. All right, thanks for being with me. This is Dino Delano. If this video has been of value to you, please leave a comment. If you don't think it was of value to you, please leave a comment. All right, thanks again for being with me. This is Dino Delano. Take care.